Good evening and welcome back to Battery Town where I'm going to start off with this here because um, this was the uh, thumbnail to the last video and it wasn't in the video last time because it's something I did afterwards. Um, it's just showing how we're going to do things here. So um, this this silo represents this town here um, and it's, it's um, offload will be down here which connects to the rails and it's on load so it's, it's um it's uh it's supply will be down here the stuff it gets rid of it adds the its supplies will be below it and stuff that i've got it above it but i think we might actually do it to the side of it instead might be the way we do things so um I'm not sure though. I'm not sure that, but that, that's that's why that was there. So if anyone was confused by that, I had had to see somebody um, IRL say the screenshot wasn't there. Um, I have actually done the uh, the uh, sorry the um, the the, uh, the thumbnail was like, hang on a minute, what, what was that? Did I miss it? And no, 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 it's uh, um, yeah. So um, this is going to be the location of the next town. It's a long way away. I know we planned it out. So that's the edge. You can see it's wonderful. It puts marks on the floor. That's the edge of this town. That's the edge of this town. Um, it looks like it's a long way away, but it's really not. Also, let's uh, put in the uh, town. So, uh, so that one there goes to this one up here. Yep, yep. That's as far as we go. That's 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 it. Um, this it's the same distance between the two. Um, uh, it's just I copied and pasted from this here. Hence why that was missing. We copied that to that and uh, pasted it down there. Um, so yeah, uh, and I can't put any more town centers in because we're using all seven, so that's fine. I have unlocked a couple more um, training posts, which we're gonna have to move. There's a couple we're gonna have to move, kind of thing. So, so we'll look here. Animal feed for wood wheels, no. Fish stew for pot, no. Gold for meat stew, no. They're bad, you are a bad trader. We don't want you. So let's start with this town because it's the one that's got the most clear space around it. Um, let me remove the trees here. I don't want to remove any of the... Uh, he says remove one. I don't remove any of these because, again, we can't actually produce stuff. So maybe we'll do a magic town first so that we can start producing uh, stones and things. Um, uh, although we need a mining town as well. But then we can't put things down until we get... Basically, in order to place down these things, we need um, Omni Temples. Uh, not Omni Temples. Oh. M. Uh, Omni planters. We need these guys, and they're hidden behind Omni planters technology, um, which is all the wrong buttons. All the wrong buttons here. Oop. Make that bigger. Uh, Omni planters are Tech level nine. So before we can place down any of those resources on the ground, we have to get to tech level nine. That's Locked. That's like almost end game. Or, you know, that is that is in the end game. So um, that's well after the fire temples and stuff. That's I, I thought Omni plants has come before that. But however, um, like these, the earth stones and things here. Um, stone, we can find stone. There's stone here. That's not a problem. Um, the earth stones, we can find. There's some here. Um, if we have a quick look around, there's some there. This wants to be the magic town, doesn't it? Yeah, this one wants to be the magic town. Um, I can't get only planters anyway, so building the magic town early is not really going to help us anyway. So there's, so there's plenty of earth stones around, so I'm not actually fussed about removing these guys. Be gone. Go away. And we get rid of the stone as well, because that's not a problem. That should be enough space for us, he says, hopefully. Let's also square off the forestry there. You. No, nope, those trees are outside your influence, so let's do that there. Let's find out whether this is correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the four corners from this. I'm going to select this here. And I'm going to go Control and C to copy it. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to see nowhere near. <laughs> this is way bigger than I expected. Okay. What is this setup? This setup is just purely making us planks. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of this setup. Okay. So we can just delete all these things here. That will go into our base. We're no longer producing planks just for our own storage. We are producing planks elsewhere, though. Let's get rid of the water stones as well. We're gonna. I know they're elsewhere. That'd be fine. Okay. Uh, and let's try again. Set columns. Copy. So we put one there. Click. Whoa. 
We've got one here. I'm going to have to actually uh, delete this over here now. I do still want this template, so I need to move it elsewhere, though. So let's drag over here. I'm not copying anything else as well. And let's put this like up over here out of the way somewhere. So we've got a copy of it. So, uh, that one will go there. Rotate round. That one will go there. Wow, that iron is in the way. Um, I really don't want to delete the iron if I can. Uh, what's this? This is airstone. Airstone, we can deal with. We can get that. I kind of don't want to delete the iron. So, um, the iron's not one I really want to get rid of at all. So, we'll put that there. Um, there is plenty of iron around on the map, I know, but. Um, do you know what do you know what no stop it stop it stop it be gone go away shoo out out shoo be gone i do that i remember falling prey to this several other playthroughs um where i'm like i don't want to delete the stuff on the surface because you know i want to make sure we've um we can get the things and things and then like there's iron here um and there's iron here and iron here and like, there's iron in so many other places plus it's underground as well we can always get the stuff underground it's infinite underground it regenerates so I don't need to store all the stuff on the surface. It's fine. Plus, we have an infinite map. I can go out further and find more. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. So this is the layout for the town. Then all we all I want to do is um I don't even we don't even need to cross connect these because everything bellows out from the town center. That's a pretty pattern. Look at that. That's quite a pretty pattern. Yeah. I like that. I like that. That's a nice pattern. Uh, you can turn the uh, the toolbar down here on and off by pressing H. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's quite nice. I like that. I like the look of that. It's quite nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, sorry. Screenshot. Um, <laughs> that could be the thumbnail. Yay! You've seen the thumbnail in it, other than other episodes where I don't do the thumbnails. Um, yeah. So, um, the town centre's influence, so long as a path is touching it, it doesn't have to necessarily cross anywhere. You can have just one path go up and branch out, it'll be fine. Um, the town centre can get um, all the... Uh, if it's so it can, it can influence things. So you see, it's influenced everything here. Not in the centres. That's fine, however, because we can, if I bring the toolbar back up, grab a house, put a house, say, there, and now look at that. But the whole tile has house to it so that's kind of all you need to do is make sure there's a house there when you extend the town center to level 10 and you get these ones here so right now we're not planning to use these outside two here and i probably won't use them maybe sometimes um but what you have to do in order to get the actual thing working you have to kind of put the house um on that one and on that one um, it might work here but I'm pretty sure it's the inside too. You have to put the house on, and it will it will reach that. It's kind of awkward because normally I like to put all the houses like facing the same way. So all these houses will be on this side of it here and here and here, and then this one will probably do the same, and then we just flip it for this side, um, and then you just you kind of just pick things. So we know that way's north. So if we do that, and we said like all the houses um, were going to be how many houses have we got spare? We've got ten spare. So all the houses would be like this. That's in the centre, isn't it? That's not in the centre there. This is. And then there'd be a house here as well, which obviously won't be influenced by the town centre yet. And then on this side of it, all the houses would be like this. These two would be there and there. And then I run out of houses, but then we'd have one there and one there. So all the houses will be um, facing the centre and they're always facing east or west, if that makes sense. Purely for the way the layout works. However, that doesn't work because you have to take into account where the train stations are going to be because your input belts are going to be involved the input belts will come down on these layers here so we'll have train stations here and the input belts will come down here and they have to attach to this so the plan let me we can upgrade this town center that's awesome boom there you go awesome cool okay um uh let's um uh, oh, that one's one out. No, how dare you be one out. Whoa, what the? I'm trying to move the house. What happened there? How? What? 
what did I do then to get that happiness thing come up? That was weird. Um, I didn't push anything on the keyboard. That was weird. Um, anyway, so that's that's obviously that's how the hazards are going to go. So you pick one side, you pick the other side. Normally, we're based on where the um, right. So the rail is going to be on the outside here, coming up. This is going to be where they drop off. This is kind of why I had this design here. So we are dealing with this house, this town here. So on our map, we're dealing with this town here. This is this is silo over there. Um, uh, we can name these things as well. Not that I think it matters. Um, uh, let's put, call it Towny for the minute and see. No, it still says silo, so it doesn't matter. Name it, name it doesn't really matter. Um, I thought the tooltip might come up. The, uh, the on-screen tooltip thing might come there. But this is one here. So we're going to try and load this one here. So this is going to be the offset. And then this side will be the... Um, uh, th this is where you offload stuff onto the rail system. And this is where you pick up stuff off the rail system. So the trains will come up here, along there, down here to drop stuff off. It will flow through to all of the manufactories and come out the other side to here. Obviously, not just the centre row, it will come up this one, it will come up this one as well. Um, it can come up this one if you want to, but probably never use them. Um, uh, so it's generally, it will come up. The centre row will feed these six, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. Obviously, six and six, I don't know why I counted there. We'll feed the twelve. So the centre row with three um, belts can go up and over this and down again and uh, can feed the twelve centres. Then you come out to here and you do this one here, which feeds these ones here. And also some of these, if it needs the augmenting. Um, and then you come out to this one here to feed the outside to there. Um, belts normally wouldn't go left and right. That's fine. However, there is a kind of twist to that. Um, your feed belts and your exit belts, you're going to want in different places just for ease of use. Um, so just because it's complicated otherwise to do it. And we want to use packages. Can we get packages? Have I unlocked packages yet? Where are the packages? Can we, do we have? We do have packages. Excellent. Okay. So, again, I'm talking, but I'm showing at the same time. I'm trying to explain the process. Uh, comment in the last episode, and I should have done this. Um, so, um, um, uh, Amber S saying, um, appreciate the live theory crafting. Um, yes, so long as I'm doing whilst theory crafting rather than just talking for a whole episode, because otherwise nothing gets done and then by the time i come to record next time i've forgotten it all so so trying to do a bit of both here um and also um seringen uh hopefully i'm pronouncing your name right here um hello long time no see i do remember your comments from many many years ago on factory town uh so uh thank you very very much for sticking around and and or coming back or whatever so thank you very much here um send you're a visual learner and you want to see it and so yeah that's why if i just talk you, you it doesn't make sense but if i do it if i do it and get it wrong then we can fix it together um i do show my mistakes um i do if i build something and it's not correct then we'll fix it on on camera so you can see what i did for it many people go i can't figure it out let me cut and come back again um i've done that a few times but um uh, and they're like oh um here it is it's working now but they don't explain the process of making it work so and that always annoys me because they're like hey it works now and then they they go like you do this do that and it works it's like yeah but it doesn't work because you did something that you haven't shown me so anyway um again i'm talking uh the rail will come up here. I'm not sure exactly where the rail is going to be. So the, rail, the rails will come up here. We have eight rails that come up here. Blah, 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 blah. Um, train stations will be here. And the things will come off. And drive. So this will be where this drop off is. So all the stuff will just come out of this and come here. So what I'm saying is that we'll have belts come down the center to feed these 12. Hopefully it might be a bit much room. But we'll figure out because you can do multi-layer. And then when it's processed it comes out to this layer. And then comes down to the end here. So this row will be an input, this row will be an output, that will be an input, and that will be an output. Same down here. So input, output, input, output, hopefully. Which means my houses are the wrong way around. Let me show you why. What are we going to do here? Shall we do start at the beginning? Shall we just start at the beginning? What's the first speciality? Let's just do that. Let's just shoot. This is, this is town center number one. Um, and this is going to be... Um, uh, let's... let's, let's uh, town number one if you've got any names for towns and stuff that you can think of to do that tagging them doesn't make any sense it's, it's, there's no reason to tag them but uh, yeah so this is town center number one and this is going to do um the first one which is technically the first one's farming 
Um, so we want to do farms here. Uh, we'll do farming here. Yeah, I will, I will stick to that. This will be town set number one. And then we'll go around. So we'll do farming that. We just need to figure out this one to be magic. Um, where is magic in the list? So do, 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 do. magic's the last one. So that's going to work for us. So we'll start here and we'll go one, two, three, four. And then we'll go back up and we'll go five, six, seven, and eight. So magic will be number eight. So yeah, okay. So this is gonna be farming, but I don't wanna do farming in it yet. I wanna explain something else first and hopefully you can see my plan for it. So uh, let's, instead of farming, let's say this is going to be um, forestry. We can always copy and paste these things and do stuff anyway. So um, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be processing. We're gonna do, um, this one is making planks, okay? Um, which is a lumber yard, not a plank thing. So we need lumber mills. So put the lumber mills in, doesn't the direction of them does not matter at all. But you want to move them back by one from the edge of the road. Okay, on there. And then we come back here and we leave a one gap in between them. Uh actually a yeah, one gap in between them. Is that right? Yes. What happened between them? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember as I'm doing it now. Uh, you put a barn in the center. However, I'm not going to use a barn. Uh, I'm going to use a um, train station, uh, which may seem a little excessive, but I want all the storage. I want all the storage. And we're going to split the storages between two with this. So um, in the storage centers here, barn would be easier to do than this, but it's fine. So uh, we're going to go with um, logs. Logs. Oh, I didn't realize you have to tick tick it every time um logs, logs. and then we're gonna plank uh, plank okay you can't double click it okay so we've got logs and planks okay logs coming in planks going out so that's fine and then we're gonna have belts do two things here so we're gonna have i'm gonna use belts for it all um just because it's easier for my brain to work that way uh, you are going to be filtered to logs okay uh, so we'll um Paste, 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 paste like that. But okay. We will then use the wooden pillars going up by two. Um, in fact, no, we won't. No, we won't. We'll, we'll, we want the wooden pillars in there, but we don't want to do that for that there because um, I just realised something. So we're going to do this, and that won't work. No, it needs to go back by two. Okay. I did get it wrong. I did get it wrong. Um, move. Boom, highlight everything, click M, move it back on. So it has to go back by two off the edge. See, 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 correcting my mistakes because I'm making them as I'm going. Um, oh, you want to be doing planks. So um, copy, paste, 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 paste. You can just, you can just control and see when you're on a building and it copies the recipe. Um, so, yeah, and if, if you click a building and have it selected and go control C, it copies the building. If you just mouse over and control C, it will copy the recipe. So, and then control V to paste, obviously. So, um, bump, 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 like that. There we go. Um, that was, that's going to be planks. Not that it matters, but let's just do it correctly all the way. So, bump, bump, like that. Uh, and I'm going to put in things here because this is kind of going to be our template for copying things, which means I need to reset the, um, uh, things but yeah so so this will have um uh logs come into it and then out of it will come uh the other things also again this is wrong i've built this wrong already okay no what i realize what i'm doing already so we're going to move the outputs for that to this side like this Which means I actually need to have them facing that way and that way. So they're going to pull out onto this belt and it's going to go into here. And then we're going to put the wooden pillars in. The wooden pillars are there so that we can add a second grabber. And then a third grabber if we need to above that. So that's why I'm putting the wooden pillars in already, preempting it so it's ready to go. Um, so we can do that and then we just add another layer and so on and so forth. So yeah. I want to leave this side free because of a uh, reason. So, so the wood comes out of here into this one, gets turned into planks, comes back along here and down to here. You see this is getting a happiness bonus because it is connected to a town. Um, and because we have a global happiness bonus, it is it is working. The town is doing the global. So even though all our happiness is coming from this town, it's being projected to the to it's coming from our main town, it's being projected to this town because it's global. So not per town, which is very nice. Then here, 
um, we want to put in a packager. Okay. And we want to have two packages. We want to have one there. I want to have one on top of it. And I'm looking at this and I'm going, this is wrong. This is not correct. Why is this not correct? What have I done wrong here? I missed something out somewhere. Maybe the houses don't go there. Um, uh, so you can put um, uh, wooden arches or anything on top of a um, a, um, oh, uh, a packager. This packager wants to be unpack. So the ground one is the unpack. And the one on top is the pack. Now, you could reverse that round. Um, we might reverse that round. I'm not sure. Um, let's copy that and paste that up there. And this one is going to be, uh, instead, it's going to be pack into crate. So this one uh, will take the crates and unpack the log crates and then distribute them into the train station. And then this one will take the um, planks pack them into boxes and export them down to the system now we probably do want this to be the opposite way around if we leave the layout like this i'm also thinking i've done something wrong with the um houses now if i put that over there does that still that still covers the whole area doesn't it so if i put that there it does indeed cover the whole area i think that's that's the issue i think i'm doing the layout wrong here okay well, it's a good job. It's a good job. We're noticing it. It's fine. If I highlight all this again and press M, we can click, click it up and move it over like that. Yes, this looks better. This looks better. And then the houses sit here. And you can even have two houses per one, but I don't think I want to have two houses. One thing also we've got to remember um, is uh, wells for the houses. It's something I always forget when I do this sort of layout here. Um, I don't put wells in for the, the houses, and then obviously they don't they don't like it because, yeah. So we do that, put the house on that side instead, which means the houses are no longer facing the east-west thing, but um, I think that's because of the rotation of this. I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure anymore. Uh, so, um, this will go here. Is that right? Is that right? This will go here. So one, two... Something feels off about this, and I can't can't pick what it is, but something was off. So, so yeah. So the bottom one unpacks and will feed the logs into there. Okay, so it's unpackaged goods. You can filter this to be specific items. So if you've got multiple things in there, you can't have a packager package and unpackage. It doesn't do both. So a bit of a shame, but yeah. And um, and then you go up off of this, and we go up to this one, this guy, to feed the. Uh, so I need to copy these and put in like an overhang there. Um, and uh, we should be able to have a... Oh, wrong button. One, two, three, I think it was. Uh, two, oh, yeah, we need to... In the box first. So one, two, three. And then we drag up to there. Oh, it doesn't want to do it. Oh, it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it at all. Nope, it doesn't like it at all. Right, so how do we how do we combat this? I think I think I did this. I think I did this. Let's um uh one, two, three, four, five, like that, and turn it around so it drags out, and then we drag um down as far as we can go. Nope, that's not right. What did I do? What did I do to this? Hmm. Hmm. Um Structural box, wooden scaffolding ramp. It must have been this. It must have been this. Okay, so one, two, three, up. up. There. I don't think you can output from that height, can you? I always try to like to have my... I can. Awesome. Okay. And you do not like that, but... Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, one, two, three. I always try to like have my outputs. Um, wow, it doesn't want me to put a belt on top of that one there at all. 
There we go. I've had to actually page down to there. Uh, I like having my outputs um, be flat so that I can see the um, grabber easier because if you actually um, uh, put a grabber here, you can kind of see it. It's not bad. It does still work, but I, I, I do that here. So uh, this will be planks. So bumps that pull planks out of there and that will package the planks and then the planks can be packed off and the way they go. Now there is a drawback to the system. Um, it's built in such a way that throughput becomes a little awkward, particularly underground. Um, so if we were to um, have this one here um, and then we put in our wooden pillars as we would do normally, um, it's also very complicated to build. But if you look there, if I do the wooden pillars, um, we can get two belts in. We can't get a third one in because that blocks it for the third one. And we can't go any higher. Well, we could technically go one higher if we had this ramping out straight away. So, um, yeah, it kind of limits it. I have played with other ideas of like putting this dead in the center and then trying to have packages either side. But the drawback to that, um, if we go, let's go here. Um, is uh, you do this, you have a packager um, this side, you have a packager that side, that's fine. Okay, move the house out of the way for a minute. Um, let's copy a lumber mill. Uh, so we have two lumber mills, um, one there, one there, one there, one there, because we obviously we need the space to do that. And then there's nowhere for a house to go. There's nowhere for a house to go in here. So yeah, the houses can't really live in the central lanes, although they sort of can. Um, because we are going to load goods on one end, like the north end, and we're going to unload goods on the south end, the lefts and rights here shouldn't ever be used. Maybe in some examples, but very rarely. So technically the houses could live in those gaps and we could do this. So if I was to put the house there and put this house here, then we look at the influence map, see it's it kind of gets the whole thing. Um, uh, let's do it's probably better if I do it here actually let's put one there and one there then look at so it always gets the whole thing um I don't think putting a right over is going to help us all for that there no what if we moved this house to this position so yeah so it just misses a bit there however packages do not get influenced by um speed um they don't they don't get a there's no work rate in them the only way to speed them up is steam boosters or yellow coins they don't have workers in them they're like an automated system so only these lumber mills are the ones that get the bonuses and they get the bonuses anyway regardless whether there's a house involved or not because it's around the outside and in the center the only thing that's not being touched is the train station we're using for a filter in the center for a barn in the center so this could work as well and this would not really give us more throughput um sort of give us more throughput uh but not at the same time because if we're using these three to load this then this cannot load um so hang on uh turn it around this one here Boom. so it comes in here turn the train station around just for ease of access comes in here unloads into this um and uh becomes logs so the pack of boxes become logs and goes off to these guys and then has to come back again now going off to these guys is easy because we can do that yep nice and easy however how do we get it back if we're doing three of those like that uh what's this one this one's packing to create this should be unpacked from crate and then dum 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 and these will be uh planks here this is a long episode um I'm, I'm gonna carry on i'm gonna carry on i'm not gonna cut it here anyway um so this will be logs so the packages come in they get un un uh, boxed in here and uh the, the box can hold four items so for every box you bring in you're bringing in four items so yep um that will filter there so one box can run one of these if it's one item it needs so one box per four of them so it works um so you can feed this here but then how do we get the uh create the um uh how do we get the log the planks sorry back to this 
we could output in the center, but then you've got to share them, which isn't bad because usually the outputs, um, you have mo more inputs than you do outputs. This is one-to-one, -one, so not, but normally you'd have like four inputs and one output, so that's not so bad. I can't come out of this side and do it because, and you've got to remember, we want to leave all of these here because we want to maybe race them up and have even more items. So like the throughput might not be fast enough, so we need to put another layer on top of this to run it faster, so I can't do that. So I think I tried this layout before and I couldn't get enough throughput working and that's why I changed to this layout with the stacking one with the house on the corner. But this had issues of that you couldn't, you can only do like what three belts out to the packager and then you need to like start on the side and do things and do weird things. So maybe this would work better. There's no other way. I can't move one of these like out by one and then have two inputs because then we can't output to get to it. So we're limited by, we have uh, three, six, nine, 12. We have 12 outputs. Um, we're using six of them here and then we need to use uh, four. So that's 10. And then we choose another four. That's 14. We only have 12. So we're two inputs or outputs down on the system. When we get only pipes, we can do stuff underground which changes the whole dynamic and putting these on the ground also helps with omnipipes because you can't access this if you don't have an omnipipe so that's that's a whole thing also omnipipes um uh work um i've not really shown this at all um uh, but uh, steam pipes underground are fine if you put them on top on the surface you cannot do like you do with the belt you cannot have a one gap between buildings you need a minimum of two gaps between buildings to run a pipe on the surface of the world so so because it has to have a puller and then a uh, has to have a um, an output device and an input device. So um, so you need two blocks. You can't do it in one block. So, hmm. Do we go with this? Do we go with um uh, having it like this? So we output the wood. Um. Oh, undo, undo that. Copy paste. It's like that. And then we do the mergers on the center. As I said, for a lot of buildings. Uh, it would work so let's for instance go with the the stone mason see that takes three stone in and has one output so you need more inputs so each one would have to have a dedicated input but it could share an output because it's not outputting as much um we can go for high on the outputs as well that is uh possible um not that one this one um so we go like um we could share a belt on both of them so like we could do uh, if we did that we then do a grabber there and a grabber there so this one gets priority because this is the first one the belt and then this one would have to wait till the belt's free um, and then we can do this uh, with another um going through oh, 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 oh damn you the mass in the right position there we go um it's really weird trying to put belts when you're doing uh the uh, wooden pillars you you can't do it from this angle you've got to kind of do it from the side so um yeah um, and if we did that instead of having um uh this one be the puller uh, we'd have this one be the puller there and then this one but well, also page down you can use page up and page down to move things so you can mass over things if you can't get in there press page down click there you go so this gets priority on the bottom belt and this gets priority on the top belt um and i believe you can go four high i think so we'd want to go with that one there and then we turn around and do this one here yes you can go four high so we could potentially do that and have them sharing a belt in the center and make it four high um, for doing that you can go four high on this one as well and have four input stuff but input should always be more than output so does that does that make sense which which one do you think looks better i think for now let me remove uh this here so this would be um the layout for it so uh, oh, i'll tell you what i do i'll tell you what i do we'll literally just come in here copy rotate paste that makes make life so much easier for us but so we've got the, the goods come down here and go into here. They'd have to come up and over the town center and back down again. We can deal with that. That's not a problem. We can we can maybe get over the town center.
Yeah. Get out of the town center. Like that. And we only need one input per per box anyway, so we can get over the center. Plus, also you gotta remember, um uh we'd feed these ones from a lower point, and then these ones would come the belts would come in higher anyway, down the center. So that would work. So yeah, so so we feed the stuff gets dropped off here. The logs will get dropped off here. Um, this should be farming, I know. Um, they get put into here. Um, they'd have to be one above the ground anyway because of the road. We don't want to break the road. Um, they get unpackaged into the train station. Half of it can be stored with uh, wood. So we've got two, four, six, eight hundred wood storage, uh, log storage. The logs go out to the lumber mills. Um, they all have their own dedicated output. The lumber mills output to a shared belt, but there's two of them right now. So technically they've each got their own belt, but they're sharing both of them. Um, uh, and we can do that there. And then we go up. So, and then um, it goes back into here and then they cut the planks come out to here, get repackaged, go in there. And then the package goes down here to the train stations here. That's, that's it. That's it. Does that make sense? Which one do you think is better? I, I'm leaning towards this one and having the houses in between. Um, like this, um, and then we just, but maybe uh, we'll do the crossroads at every point, just to um, make it look a bit more realistic. And then we put houses here. Don't put them in the center; that won't make sense. We we'll just put the houses there. Uh, we can put multiple houses in here if we wanted to as well. So, yeah, um, and then they come out of here, and we'll go along there. Um, and again, because it packages um, into four crates, we only really need one belt per per packager. So this would have to have. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. There's six outputs here, so we'd have to use six belts. And then there's four outputs here, which have to go even higher, which might be a little bit more complicated to do. Um, so this is an input, feeds these ones, that's an output. This is an input, and the output goes to here. Might be a little more, it might be a little crowded, might be a little crowded, but each one could actually come out, and this one could go up above. And so this one could output onto the lowest level. And then this one, the one above it, this one, the one above it, this one above it, and then they're all just using one line, which using vitali verticality. I was going to say vitality, as in like health, but no. Um, so yeah, which one? This one is tried and tested and works. I know this one works because we've used it before. Um, it's just awkward to build into. This one's not so awkward to build because of its um, its way of doing things. So, and we can make a template with this. We just blank all the um, uh, filters, all the uh, um, pullers out. And um, we have to uh, just change the buildings. Kind of awkward. We have to get into a puller inside here, but we can always we can always figure that out. We can always figure that out. Doesn't necessarily need two as well. So, so yeah, which one would we go with? This is going to be farming anyway, so it's not going to apply here. But I'd like to get like a template built, and then maybe just copy it and paste it over here somewhere out the way, so we can, you know, we have like a, an area over here of this is a a template a template area. Yeah. Okay. So, it's been 45 minutes almost for this episode. So, let's leave this one here and let's come back next time and carry on from there. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again next one. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>